For this video, we're going to check out this Astro AI 100 PSI portable air compressor tire inflator. We're going to check it out, do a few tests, see how it works out for us compared to some other similar items. And this is an item that Astro AI was nice enough to give me for free so that I could do this video for you guys. Let's open this guy up, see what we got. First couple accessories. So you have like uh, a fuse, different adapters, needle for a, like a football or something. Then also this style of end that can go on the end of the hose. So there's the compressor itself. We also have some instructions that come in the box. You have your inflation hose with the screw-on connector. I actually like this the best. It may be more traditional to see this style with the lever, but I really like these screw-on ones. We also have the power cord, which is about 10 feet long. You can see it has the 12-volt socket for a cigarette lighter, and there is a fuse inside there. you can see is the handle on the top we have an LED light on the front this back side has the on off switch for the compressor there's a push button for the light we also have the LCD screen which we'll see more of as we test this guy I want to give you guys a couple of dimensions give you an idea how big this thing is so about eight inches there Oh, six and a half tall, maybe three inches. Now it is 12 volt, that's why you got the little cigarette lighter style plug. However, if you want to use it around the house in a regular AC outlet, Astro AI does have an electrical power converter. So that would plug into your wall outlet, and then the and then the other end is a socket for that 12 volt connection. A couple things I want to find out. First off, it's a 10 foot cord. I want to plug this into my truck and see can I reach all four tires. Second thing I want to find out, I got this decibel meter. We're going to see how loud it is. And we're also going to compare this compressor with two other ones I own. We have the Hyper Tough. We have the Cordless DeWalt. We're going to check the decibel levels on each of them. Also, how long it takes each of them to inflate a tire. I am curious about the light that comes with this. So we're going to turn this thing on, turn off the last set of lights in this garage, and see how bright it is. It's nice you can use the handle and kind of aim your light. actually pretty good your main purpose would probably be for hooking up to the valve to air up your tire but if you were in a situation where you're on the side of the road and need a flashlight certainly would be handy bam made it but we don't have a lot of extra, but we did make it. We're going to put some air in the tire of my Caprice. I have the Astro AI digital gauge. It's like it says we're at 25 PSI. Let's hook up the compressor with the little screw-in end. And the compressor's reading 24. It's a little bit of a difference. Now we're going to inflate this up to 35 so you can change how much you want to inflate it to just by hitting the buttons there. It'll flash a few times and go back to your current reading. 
So let's turn it on, see how long it takes to put 10 or 11 PSI in this tire. It's for reference a P25-60R15. And we're also going to see how loud it is with this little decibel meter. All right, you see it went up to 36. It intentionally goes a little bit over your setting because it's accounting for loss that you will lose when you unscrew the connection. Also, just for reference, it has overheat protection. So if you're in the middle of inflating something and it shuts down, it might not have broke. It just was getting too hot and it needed to take a little break, which if it's between shutting down because of overheating or breaking, you'd definitely rather it shut down for that. You're only supposed to use it at the most for 15 minutes at a time. So after 15 minutes, give it 20 minutes of break, 10 minutes break, a little bit of time to cool down, and then you can continue using it again. Let's bring the PSI back down, check it with the Hyper Tough, and then we'll compare both the noise level and how long it takes. Tires back down to 25 PSI. Next, we're going to test the Hyper Tough. Now, a couple things about this. It's not digital, so we're just kind of guessing when we get back up to 35 PSI. Also, the connection is plastic. Well, I think we're at 35. You know, a gauge like this, you're really just guessing. It's hard to, you gotta be directly on it, and you, you know. I think we're at 35. Our last comparison will be the DeWalt cordless. You can see we're at 25, that's your left side. And the right side we had it set at 35. There's your comparison test, guys. Let's finish off with some final thoughts. First off, let me tell you what I like about this Astro AI air compressor. One, I like that it's compact. I like that it doesn't bounce all over the place. If you saw that hyper tough thing, it was like just a jitterbug. I like the digital LCD readout, being able to set a preset PSI, it automatically turns off, and being able to read exactly what PSI you're at. Again, with the hyper tough, with the gauge, you just had to kind of guess at it. I believe, I'll have to go back and look, but I believe it was the quietest of the three, and it inflated the tire reasonably fast. Now, my tire is bigger than the typical car tire on a newer car, so odds are it'll inflate your tire a little bit faster. Now, a couple of things I think could be improved on. I don't like the hose coming out the back here. I feel like it kind of gets in the way of the gauge. It's natural position. It wants to come straight out right over the top of the gauge. I think it would be better if it was out the front. Also, it needs some kind of cord management system. There's nothing you can do with the cord. If Even if it was as simple as like a hook that a vacuum would have that you roll it up or some kind of storage compartment or come with the case, it needs something to do with the cord. Going back real quick to the things I like about it, I do like that it comes with this other extension. I haven't seen this with other inflators that I've had where you can just screw it onto the end if you prefer this lever style. That option is available to you, so I do really like that also. So there you have it guys, the Astro AI portable air compressor. I'll see you guys next time.